Hey, Robin D'Angelo here, licensed marriage and family therapist and relationship expert. And I had a dear friend and colleague ask me, hey Robin, why don't you do a video on fear? I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> why not? You know, nothing to fear. Just go ahead and do a video on fear. <laughs> so that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about fear. I want to talk about how it shows up in our lives, um, how it impacts us, how it can get in the way, and how it can actually help us get out of our own way, right? So fear, when, when I think about this word fear, first of all, it's a four letter F word, <laughs> probably one that you could say in public without getting too many dirty looks. Um, but when I think of fear, it feels really heavy. It feels really intense, the word. And then I think about what fear feels like. And that can feel pretty similar, right? It can feel heavy, it can feel intrusive, it can feel like a huge obstacle. It can feel like something that you just wanna dodge or something that you just wanna shove out of the way. Um, I don't know about you, but it definitely, definitely doesn't naturally make me want to say, yeah, fear, let me go look this right in the eyes and, and figure out how to oh, you know, win this. Um, but fear, you know, it, it obviously serves a purpose in our lives. It used to be something that kept us alive, right? When we were being chased by a pack of wild animals, fear, you know, kept us suspicious and um, alert. But now, fear, it can be so many other things now, especially as, you know, an entrepreneur as myself and many of you out there. Um, Fear can start to paralyze us when we're making decisions within our business. Fear can paralyze those of us in relationships, but it doesn't have to. The beauty in being a human being is we get to choose our responses to things like fear. So two things we have zero control over, initial thoughts that come into our brain and initial emotions or feelings that rise. We, zero, we have zero control over those. What we do have control over is how we respond to them. Do we look at those as kind of our brain's way of trying to get our attention? Hey, something big is about to happen. And our reaction can say, oh my gosh, this is either going to go terribly wrong or this can go wonderfully, surprisingly well, right? We have a choice. We have a choice how we're gonna to respond to that initial thought of fear. So what I want you to think about is the next time you feel that surge of what I like to refer to as uncertainty, because that's just what it is. How will you decide to respond? You have that choice. And, and you know, when you think of fear and uncertainty, my dear friend, you know, Jenny Weigel, she is doing this whole project on fear and she calls it uncertainty. And I just love that because it's true. Uncertainty is, is we just, we don't know. We don't know what's gonna happen. And we get to decide what are we gonna do with that, right? And we think about things like, you know, well, Robin, I, I, I get fearful because I'm afraid of rejection. I'm afraid how I'm gonna be received by my peers, by my community, by my partner, by my family, by the choices that I'm, for the choices I'm making. I'm, I'm afraid. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Because what happens is fear comes right before a major event. That's been my experience anyway. Because if we're not afraid, then that means there's not risk. And as people who are, um, I don't know, I just feel like human beings who are successful and happy, I mean, we're risk takers. Every little thing is kind of a risk, you know? Do you pick up the phone and, and call that person you met a couple nights ago? That's a risk you're taking. It's scary. It can really pay off or it can fall flat, but that's the choice you make. You know, when I started making these videos, I was terribly, terribly fearful. And I had so many people just kind of cheering me on and some people saying, I don't know why you're doing this. Who's going to watch these? But okay. And I've had such a wonderful and supportive response. I just really want to encourage all of you out there that fear can be a really wonderful, wonderful thing. It feels uncomfortable, but it can catapult you into that next that next portion of your life, your career, your relationship. So think about that. And if this is something that kind of resonated with you and you wanna talk more about this, I'd love to hear from you. Give me a call. Let's talk about maybe working together and figuring out how to make fear and uncertainty your catapult rather than your obstacle. Call me.
714-390-1652. Talk to you again soon. Bye.